Hello everyone, welcome to Make Zero's bl um, Blender tutorial on how to make a 3D dragon. Uh, n right now I'm in the Blender and uh, going to split screen in a second. I'm just going to leave my mouse up to the top and I'm going to split the screen. There we go. Just right click and you know, and then you have just put it in the middle screen. Put it on a split, split screen and you got that. Now all this you need is to change views. Um, on the first view, since my image I'm going to use is a side view, I'm going to go to view and click on side view from there. Then I'm going to go to the other one, go to view, and make it a, a front view. Uh, I don't have any images for the front view, so it's I'm basically going to be doing this by heart. Hopefully, it, it's it should look pretty good. I have a pretty photographic memory of what I want the the f front view to look like of my dragon. Um, for beginners, I would recommend that you probably try to make a front view or find a front view. Uh, I'm using the images that I made myself. And right now I'm going to just go to view, go to background, I'm going to select the image from my documentary, and scroll down, scroll down, uh, oh, one moment, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, anyway, now I'm scrolling down. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I basically just... Um, went to view, went to background image, and it brought up that little thing that you see right in the middle of my screen. Uh, basically press load, you click on the image, you select, and then you load again, and there's the image. Very nice. And I'm sorry about that copyright, guys. Um, yeah, I kind of messed up the original image, but anyways. Let's just position the box over the head. Remember to resize it. Um, to resize, you you press the R button, and that'll resize it for you. Just move your mouse a little bit, and to get the right size. Right now, I'm doing loot cut. You press L L for that, I think, or K. Yes, it's K. And you can scroll your mouse and get the desired amount of things you want in it. Now I'm just going to move my vertices around. Those are the pink little dots. And I'm just gonna move it so that it matches the face just slightly for now. Mm. Just a sec. Move it a little bit there. You always, you always have to tweak your mesh all the time, especially when it gets less into a box and more into your creations. Because the more you get there. The more you've kind of discover that, oh, this is kind of bonkered, or this looks too boxy, or this looks too triangular. Um, and also try to make sure you get only quads in here. Triangles only in noticeable places can make the mesh look really, really gross. Um, just get that done. And that pretty much is a pretty good version of the face. Now I'm just going to select one side of it, delete, just place the delete button, select all with the A. Um, we're going to go to the modifiers panel, select modifiers, go to mirror, and now basically both the sides are mirrored. Whatever I do on that side will contribute to the other side. Put on do clipping so that it doesn't move, and you're golden. Okay, I'm just playing around a little bit. <clears throat> that should be a good size for my dragon's head. Now, before we get too far into the project, uh, I'm going to teach you about basically the set smooth tool. It's on the bottom left hand corner of the screen, and when you set smooth, it basically smooths out all your um, meshes, vertices, and faces. This is really good to do early on rather than later. And right now I'm extruding. You do that by pressing the E button and just moving it out wherever you want. 
And of course, resizing is R again. Just move that down. Play with the vertices just a little bit. Extrude again. And of course, you twink twinkle them less a little bit. <laughs> Make sure that it fits the contours of the face. Uh, I have an interesting face to use, so it's you're pro you're probably going to start off with the easier one. That's what I would recommend if you're just starting out. Um, but I wanted to make something just a tad bit more detailed so that people get the full thing, not just like a, a little nothing sketch someone did and then they just easily extruded it. I wanted you to see that you, you need to resize, you need to add vertices everywhere, you need to tweak them everywhere, and it, it takes a while, but it's probably one of the most fun things to do if you're into art and you don't want to do something like paperwork. Cough. Ahem. And that looks pretty good. Just add another line there for where the eye and the nose is going to be, basically. Um, there we go. Damn bird is same. Yeah, and then there. Thank you. And get a nice face shot. Woo! I'm so cute, I'm a dragon. Get the eye in there. Um, make sure you define that cheekbone. With with these messages you always have to um even if it's just a low polygon one that I'm making right now, it's always always good to make the most definitions possible with the less amount of vertices that would make the best um, quality thing I think okay more tweaking with things that aren't just extrude extruding and all that you have to really do a lot of work with the vertices and the edges and try to make it as rounded as possible with so it gets rid of the square box look. Um, there are other ways to do the face, but I think this one is a lot easier. Another way is basically you connect the dots and then you basically form the whole face like that. And you, you're basically just making a ton of vertices then just connecting all the dots. Um, it's a little bit more difficult, I think. Uh, and there's also another way where you basically just extrude it from a flat plane. Mm. It can it can do some good things, but I prefer this way. It's a lot more quicker, I think. Good for beginners. Uh, more tweaking. Ah, don't you love Blender? Mmm, tweaking. <clears throat> And we're trying to get the chin in there. You notice that it looks kind of deformed right now. It's because some vertices are jutting out. I'm going to fix that in a bit. Or make it worse. <laughs> Don't worry, it's going to be fixed. And just kind of moving it up. That looks better. Move it up. Well, I think that's all the time we have in this tutorial for now. I'll be po posting part two as soon as possible. I'm Meg Zero. Thank you for watching and tune in for next time. Don't forget to subscribe!